Hello friends, today I'm going to show you one of the inter interested conversation happened between me and my friend. So like I have posted the same to our uh, DBA community members and so how to handle null values. So most of the members can know this answer and like it's like little bit challenging one is like tricky now not challenging it's just tricky. Uh, one is one null equal to another null. So that what we are going to risk. Most of the members are answered uh, in this comment box. So now I want to close this thread. So I'm making this video. Now, now I'm going to create one table. Yep, inserted. Now if I want, I'm inserting some data. If I view, uh, this is what uh, I'm able to, uh, mean our data is, okay. Okay, now if I count here, how many records I get? Six records, right? Now, if I insert all null values, all null values, if I see here, if I go to view the data, see all null values in the record doesn't uh, null values in SQL Server doesn't uh, represent any value, it's like unknown value, it's like it's not equal to zero as well. Okay, now if I able to view the data I can view but in this uh, seventh column I am not able I am not having anything still if I use count star I am getting seven means whenever you use count star it means it will consider the null values okay but but if I want to see the count value okay I am using the count only for the salary items if I see here how many columns are there if I if I go here salary one two three four five six seven seven columns are there in that one one two three four only four rows are there remaining all are nulls only now if i go with single column for count uh, where we are having nulls values then it will show only four here one thing whenever you use we go for count star it will it will not ignore the null values okay and when we use with a single column count it will ignore null values okay so generally what will happen if we want to search any anything uh, generally we used to go like this select star from where employee id is equal to one yes or no yeah now this is all but if you want to search null so we cannot go use uh, where it is equal to null if i go like this i cannot get any records any records okay why go is equal is equal to will not work for null values now if you want to search nulls so where is a one uh, thing is like um, where is null where is null where manager ID is null if you don't want to search for nulls where is he can do like this where is not null you will get remaining six records okay now what will happen here sir I don't want to display null here wherever null is there I need to get zero or some other default salary okay now I will retrieve all the employee IDs now I'm using is null I'm pasting the salary column here now wherever I am seeing null here I want to represent with zero now if I go with see all zeros so this is how we need to use is null function sir now what happened I do wherever I see such certain number I want to show with the null num with null so uh, I mean uh, it were it would like to uh, reverse to is null sir as of now as of now if I see here Sir, 75,000 is there. Now, is in the 75,000 or any number will be there. I want to show that as a null value. If you have this kind of requirement, then you can use with null if function. Okay, now 75,000 is there, right? Wherever I am having 75,000, there I would like to show as a null column. Now, now I am Xerox all this. Now click. See, 75,000 is there, null. That is remaining all are like null zone null zone it will it will nullify only whenever you uh, the uh, salary column it will find 75,000 only now this is what 
now there is a colas function is there which will work is like as similar as is null if i go with here see same data same out i here i am having sound records here i am having sang records there is no change but but there is one catch is null support only two arguments but colas supports multiple arguments this is the difference now if i see this is the record okay this is the like both first time and last time having records only nickname is not having any uh, sorry first here not having some names okay now i am using the colas here i am using the last name and nickname if last name doesn't have any value it will pick up uh, it will pick from the nickname or it will pick up no name we will see that now if i see here as a preferred name so as a preferred name what it is saying that see this and my here now what i will do i will replace these names okay now if i see same here sir nickname is uh, i am using first nickname okay in the place nickname it will take last name value for example nickname is there not there it will come here as in the preferred place it will came sharma and if they uh, even though it will, uh, nickname uh, i will show you that i will i will use the same right okay i will remove see there are the values null 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 but when i use this colas function first it will say the null value for the nickname null is there right so it will show sharma if it is uh, yeah, we will see we will see that wherever here also there is a null value then it will show no name now if i see here done see sharma sanju now i will remove this first name so that you you will understand this change see nickname is null there now in the prefer name it will take sharma here it will be mehra here it will be ayer now here it will be no name so this is what colas colas supports multiple arguments okay so this is done now see how we can use this colas function one more example if you want to colas you are we am concatenating to the colas value so i will get nickname and last name uh, in the in the if nickname is not there it will take from first name and it will concatenate plus unknown value as well if i got here see rajesh unknown sanju unknown like this okay i mean it is taking from this thing okay so it uh, so this is how you can to know say came to know there is no first name like that okay so you can use this uh, colas one of the uh, example here now if i see average average also will grows on single column we are doing that so null it will be get ignored only this is the value for the all the columns uh, okay what the salary is mentioned now sir wherever is null is there in the salary column i want to use that as a uh, as salary sir with no salary if number is there some salary uh, not equal to null it should be a salary right so i am writing this case statement if i see c employee 1 as salary employee 2 as salary employee 3 is not having any salary and here employee null all, null is also there so now it is having no salary okay this is how case statement works with nulls so now if you want to order ascending order nulls will get assign order nulls will get first if we go with descending order nulls will get last okay this is how sorting order works now uh, for example uh, is null equal to another null this is what another next question right by default sql server follow one ansi standard most of the rdbms follows these standards only so now if i go here 
DBCC option. What is the 11th column? Set unseen null. This is what it will show like this. Okay, nulls off. Now I am setting the nulls off. Okay, by default it is null set, set to unseen nulls only. I am setting unseen nulls go if null is equal to null then it is print equal else print not equal now i am doing that see now now when we follow unseen nulls okay one null is not equal to another null okay now i am setting to off here i am setting nulls, nulls off here now if i go with the dbcc user options what is the force option this one learn now concatenating null legal values Okay, now in, when I said nulls, unseen nulls off here, if null is equal to same command, if I guess, see equal. Okay, so nulls off is depreciated. Okay, uh, we are not going to use, we are going to use this one only, but so this for interview point of view, uh, okay, just like tricky part. Okay, interview point of view, you can say that like, um, one null is not equal to another null. At least we cannot compare that. Okay. Um, that is the thing. Okay. Null is unknown value. So I hope I have cleared all the uh, null val uh, doubts regarding the nulls. See you another session. Thank you. Bye.